What's up folks, welcome to Math Walkthroughs with Mr. Weeb. Today we are relating fractions, decimals, and percents in our lesson one action task. Let's see what that first task brings us. First we see a chart that shows how commuters in one city get to work, and then they ask us to represent each percent using a different color on a 10 by 10 grid. Well, there are 100 uh, squares on this grid, so I know that all I need to do is highlight each and then put that number of square, uh, squares in red, right? Because 58% means out of 100. So let's go ahead and color in 58 squares. Ooh. There's 20, 30, 40, 50, eight squares that are red. Then we'll make public transit blue and we've got 24 there. So here's two, here's 12, 22, 24. Next, we'll do carpools, which is 12. Well, here's 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then walking is 5%. 5 out of 100 is 5 of these squares. And finally, we have biking. We'll put that in gray and just one of them. Okay, let's see what the next question is. It says represent each percent on a number line. Okay. Well, we have 58%, somewhere between 50 and 60%, probably closer, probably closer to 60%. So let's go ahead and put that right about here. And we'll label it 58%. Next, we have 24% in blue. Well, 24 is between 20 and 30. 25 is exactly between there, and so this should be just shy of that. So there's 24% right there. And then we've got 12% which is just a little bit more than 10%. There's our 12% right there. We have 5% exactly between zero and 10. There's 5% and 1% is just above zero. There we go. Next, it tells us we should write each percent as both a fraction and a decimal. So our first percentage was 58%, which is the same as 58 over 100, which is the same as 0 0.58. An easy way to think about this is to think about a decimal being right here and then just moving it over two spots because essentially what we're doing is 58 divided by 100. That's the other way you could do it. You could just type this into your calculator. 58 divided by 100 and you'll get 0 0.58. You should be able to do it in your head though. The next one was 24%. So we had 24%. And that is 24 out of 100. And that is the same as 0 0.24. Next, we had 12%, which is 12 out of 100. And is the same as 0 0.12, or 12 hundredths, which is why you say it. That's the same thing, right? 12 hundredths, it can also be said 12 hundredths. This is the tenths spot and the hundredths spot. Okay, then we had, I believe it was 5%. 5% is the same as 5 out of 100, which is the same as 0 0.05. And finally, we had 1%, which is 1 out of 100, and is the same as 0 0.01. Now it asks us to estimate the first four percents as fractions with denominators that are less than 25%. Okay, so the first one, 58%, is very close, very close to a nice friendly number of 60%. And I know that 60% is 60 out of 100, and that can be simplified, right? All we need to do, all we need to do here is divide each of these by 10, and we can get an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 10. And there, there it is. I could simplify it further, but it just needs to be lower than, the denominator just needs to be less than 25. Okay, the next one, 24%. 24% is very, very close to a nice friendly landmark number of 25%. And I know that 25% is the same as 25 over 100. And if I just take this and divide both the numerator and the denominator by 25, I will be able to find 1 fourth is an equivalent fraction to that. Okay, that is simplified all the way. Next, we've got 12%, uh, which is fairly close to 
10% is the same as 10 over 100, which I can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 10, giving us 1 tenth. There's that. And then we have 5%. 5%, um, I don't need to find anything. I just need to say that 5% is the same as 5 over 100. And 5 over 100, we can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 5 to find that we have 1 20th, and that is less than 25. Our final question is, why is it difficult to estimate 1% as a fraction with a denominator that is less than 25? And I might say something like this. 1% is the same as 1 over 100. To get an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 25, I could divide the top and bottom by 4. So here you have 1 divided by 4, which is 0 0.25, and 100 divided by 4, which is 25. However, this has a decimal as a numerator and isn't really a fraction. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.